Jesus Christ is the Son of the living and true God. It seems very simple, doesn't it? And for most people, that's what it is. It's too simple. There's no explanation as to why people would tell you that. And there's no explanation as to why God, for all his love, would do that. Why would he give his son to save us? And that's the bit that seems to be missing when we discuss religion. The reason. And the reason is very simple. God had it hid it. It's all throughout the scriptures. The reason is a bride. Preparation for a wedding. You see, you've got to understand it's God's intention to select a bride out of the remnant of mankind, of all his generations. Someone to represent them, as it were, as part of the body of Christ. In our day, there may be more individual representatives of the bride than at any other point. The reason being, of course, that we have a greater understanding and availability of the truth. It's not as hidden. It's not as hard to access. And that's a strange thing. With all our technology, knowledge and ability, we end up faced with the same problem. And that problem is, we don't know how to approach God. We don't know how to talk to Him. We don't even know who He is. And that's sad, because really we should know God. We should understand who He is, what His purpose is. Some of the hardest things for us to understand is recorded in the Gospel of John. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whomsoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Think about that. God's love for you and me. You see, we have a problem there. We say, I know, but why would God love us like that? You see, the question isn't about you. It's about God. He determined that for his son, to have a suitable helpmate for all eternity, a bridal price would have to be paid. And that bridal price would be Jesus Christ Himself. His sacrificial death in place of yours. And not just you, the individual, but you, mankind. God accepted Christ on behalf of everyone, not just the bride. The bride is what he wishes to take out of the world. He wishes the bride to become trained and guided and directed and blessed because she's going to be part at one with Christ. And through that relationship, she's going to be at one with God. And that's raising her in rank beyond all expectations. But the rest of mankind are not destined for that. They are going to be offered a simple thing. Life or death. And that has already been paid through Jesus Christ. We often hear it preached to be saved. Frequently, however, people forget that and now, at this time, all that's being called is the bride. The rest of the world can't fully accept Christ yet. Only the bride, if you like, is predisposed towards it because that was God's intention. He knew every single one of us before we were born. Sometimes we think, well, as soon as we were conceived, he basically looked at our lives and sorted it from there. No. Before he created the world, before the first angels were brought into being, before anything was done, when he was still discussing it with Jesus, when he was still working out the finer parts of it with the Holy Spirit, when he was still doing the planning, before any work had started at all, he knew you.
He didn't exist. He knew about you. He determined that's one there is going to be born in the 60s, that one in the 50s, that one in the 40s, that one in the 70s, that one in the 80s. And throughout the whole period of history, he determined whereabouts you would be. He knew every aspect of your life. Nothing's hidden from him. Nothing you ever do will surprise him because he knows exactly what motivates you, why you do what you do. He understands what it takes, and yet, for reasons known only to himself, he chose you. He picked you. Against all the odds, he chose you before you were born. So that you couldn't determine whether or not you had anything to do with it. You didn't impress him. You didn't look good. You didn't have that right saying at the right time. No. Before you were born, before you were conceived, before your parents were conceived, before anything had come into being, he knew you and he had determined you would receive a call to become part of his son's bride. It's not bad when you think of it like that, is it? And the whole point is, God did it for you. He did it all for you. So that you would live. That's the plan that you would live. Everyone else in this world will get an opportunity of salvation because that's the bridal price. You might say, well, what if they don't take it? Well, we have a scripture that tells us that all the nations are going to be separated into sheep and goats. The goats will be put on the left, the sheep will be on the right. And the goats don't inherit. And the sheep, they do inherit. But each of them ask, why? What was so different? What did we do? How, how, how have we been? You ask yourself, why did they ask that? Just because they didn't know Jesus Christ. They had never received a call for salvation in this time, and therefore, to them, it's totally baffling them. How can you justify applying the righteousness of Christ to me when I didn't know about Jesus, or I didn't know anything about him, or I didn't hear about him, or he, he, he didn't come until outside my time zone. And then he'd say, in that you did this, kindness, you visited the sick. You give a person a glass of water. You did it because it was the right thing to do, because you saw they needed it. You took pity on my people. You considered the ones who were oppressed, who were being bullied, picked on, sick, injured, in prison. You saw their need, and you helped. And for that reason, for that one reason, you showed that if I had made my call to you, you would have accepted it. That's how I know. And to those that are rejected, he tells the exact same thing. You didn't do it, and I know that if you had to help my call, you wouldn't have taken it. And he's right. He's always right. But you have trouble sometimes with that. We get our heads fried with it, but it doesn't change the fact that he knows what he's doing. He understands the principle. But what does that leave you? To wait and, you know, do something good and hope that you're going to be part of the sheep? No. God already knows who they are. He recognizes, he sees, he understands. He chose the bride now. And those who receive a call are being offered a great privilege to become part of the bride. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Don't become angry with him. Don't fight with him. Don't resist him. But rather, accept him. Take on board everything that he's saying to you and make your peace with him. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the same Jesus who walked 2,000 years ago expects and teaches 
the exact same things as he teaches now. There's no change. He is the same who walked with Adam and Eve in the garden, who spoke to Abraham, who gave the law to Moses. Yeah. Because he's the Lucas, the Lord, the Lord of the covenant that was to come among them. Their God was to walk among them. And that's what Jesus was. So you see, a lot of people have great difficulty with this. They don't understand who Jesus is. When God the Father starts to be introduced to us by the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus doesn't say, I'm going to tell you about the Father. You already know about him, but I want to just refine a few things. No, he says, you never knew about him. You didn't even know he existed. Well, if they didn't know he existed, who did they worship? The Lord of the covenant, Jesus Christ. All they have to do, the Jews that is, is come to that understanding. And when they do, there won't be a dry eye in the house. There won't be one who won't repent. But what about the rest of the world? It's going to be a bit of a shock to realize that the God who dealt with Israel, established them as his own people, worked with them throughout the generations, came and offered salvation as one of them. Those people that they've, nations have hated for thousands of years, salvation came through them. But you're the bride. You should know who they are and who your in-laws are. This is William from Exploding Word Ministries. Just a thought. Salvation is just an acceptance away.